Number five, a ship sets out to sail to a point 120 kilometers due north. An unexpected storm blows the ship to a point 100 kilometers due east of its starting point. Letter A, how far, and letter B, in what direction must it now sail to reach its original destination? So let us first draw our coordinate system over here so it's easier for us to see what's happening. So let's say this is our x direction and this is our y direction. Let's suppose that the ship starts in the origin of the system and our goal is to reach a point 120 kilometers due north. So let's say this is our goal over here, which is 120 kilometers. However, due to a storm, the ship goes to the east 100 kilometers. So the ship goes this way and this is 100 kilometers, right? So in letter A, we have to find this distance over here. This is the distance that we have to find for letter A. Let's call it D. And for letter B, we have to find this angle over here. So this is what we have to do. So let us first write the disposition in unit vector notation. Let's call it vector A. And vector A is 100 kilometers in the I direction because it's in the pointed to the X direction in kilometers and our goal over there let's call it vector b is equal to 120 kilometers in the j okay, sorry 120 kilometers in the j direction so let's use the same notation over here so those are the vectors that i have and the vector that the ship must travel is this orange vector over here which is equal let's see a plus d equals to b right so this is let me show you this is a this is vector d let's call it vector d and this is vector b so we can see from our draw over here that vector a plus vector d so i'm going vector a and then vector d and then i reach vector b right however i want to find vector d over here so let me isolate it so vector d is equal to vector b minus vector a minus vector a so i can find that vector d is equal to 120 in the j direction which is vector b minus 100 in the i direction which is minus vector a and this is in kilometers so this is the vector that the ship must travel but i don't want the, the distance the vector itself i want the magnitude of the the, the, the vector because i want the, this distance over here so I have to find the magnitude of the vector or the absolute value, which is the same thing. And how I do that, I just take the square root of each component squared. So it would be 120 squared plus minus 100 squared. And this gives us uh, roughly 156 kilometers. So this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, I want to find this angle over here. And the tangent of the angle is equal to the y component, let's call it dy over dx. So this is the tangent of the angle. And the angle itself is the tangent to the minus 1 of the y component over the x component. And this is tangent to the minus 1 of this is the y component this is the x component 120 over minus 100 and this gives us two different answers so this gives us this gives us minus 50.2 degrees and also gives us 129.8 degrees this happens because let's see let me draw another coordinate system over here. So let's say this is x, 
and this is y so if we have this direction over here the tangent of this angle over here is the same as the tangent of this angle over here so we have to choose which one is the correct one so let's see minus 50.2 is this one and plus 129.8 is this one which is the, the angle that i want so you just have to, to choose which uh, which quadrant the your vector point so the correct answer for letter b is this angle over here